Yeah. After the war, because I couldn't go back to uh, to our farm, I had learned. I had a chance to learn upholstering and interior decorator in the evening. So I had my tools along, and uh, Mr. Rempel, my sponsor, had sponsored us for had to sponsor us for a year, room and board. So when in uh, the end of September everything was harvested, he came to me and said, I have nothing more to do, but I have to keep you uh, for the winter. He said, no, no, I have my tools, my upholstering tools along, and uh, I like to start my own business. Uh, he said, well, a nephew of mine, Abe Wilms, who is just building in Virgil the variety store, that's now there might help you. So we drove down and Mr. Wilm uh, was just laying bricks and when Mr. Rempel told him that I am a pollster and wanted to start my own business, he, he looked up and said, well I'm a brick laying bricks but I'm not a bricklayer. I said, Mr. Mr. Wilms, you don't have to be afraid you give me any old piece of furniture and I will make it better than new. So, he, uh, he said, is that really? He said, yes, you can. How much money do you have? <laughs> I said, I had saved $300. Okay, I have $300. So, we go tomorrow to, we, we start a business. So we named the business Lincoln Upholstering. We shook hands and that was the next day we went to Toronto in a little van and a trailer. And uh, looked for, uh, for upholstering supply. The first one I had picked out from the telephone book, Marcus Spring. Came in, he was a little elderly fellow and he, I asked him we want to buy some springs he didn't even answer about it but he started to talk ask question, question, question after maybe uh, two dozen questions he said well there are about ten ten people coming they want to start an upholstering shop and in the first year eight won't survive and the one will survive maybe the second year but I think you will uh, you will make it he said you pick out whatever you want and I will have to go in my my office and then he had this little cap on I said oh my god that's a Jew and I was a German soldier. He, he will kick me out. There is no way. I was really shocked. After a while he came out. He has a little slip. I talked to all my friends. The one in felt, the other one up foam, one uh, supplies and one uh, material. They're all my friends and they all will help you. So, I said, how much do I owe you? He said, well, I send you a bill. Uh, you have 30 days. He said, you don't know me. And I'm German. I'm the, yeah, that doesn't matter. Uh, uh, you will do it. <laughs> that, that guy was, really gave me confidence. So I went, uh, went all around and each one was of his uh, same religion and everybody was friendly and helped me and the, all the 28 years I had Lincoln upholstering, I dealt with every one of them and we all became good friends.